I'm from Hamilton and my parents are Eastern European, like from Lithuania. I live in Toronto. Whenever my friend goes out with the prostitute, he always scores better. So I tried to go to the States last week and they wouldn't let me in. And then this guy is banging on the door. It's like I can't even smoke crack anywhere. I had a sibling, but he deceased. So I don't have him anymore. But he just died. He just died in an accident. Well, it was just, he was just, he just went to bed and then he was gone the next day. He was quiet and he just, I guess he just wanted everything to be right. He was in his 20s. I think my brother's birthday's coming up. I think he's really hard to shop for because he's been dead for seven years. He doesn't need anything anymore. He was just at home, went to bed, made some food, and then, and then he just died the next day. I guess I was kind of surprised and shocked. So then I just, I don't know why, I just running down, I didn't go far, I just ran for like, feet, kind of like, what the fuck. I guess with any parent, I mean, I, I guess it'd be hard for you too, or for anybody during their son. I can just imagine we'd see if you were alive. Flowers to my gravestone again. Thanks. My parents are like very old school. Unless I'm super, super, super successful, like unless I'm like the top comic in the world, like I don't think they would appreciate it. They're very hard to please. So <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so I was dancing at this club and I wanted to give this guy a lap dance. And he said he had to go to the washroom. And I'm like, that'll be extra. Like, you realize, I mean, I guess you realize that people aren't permanent, and nothing is permanent, and everything is just for now. Just do stuff you want to do, like, without any, without, just do what you really want to do. Like, nothing else should really matter. If you want something, you just, you should just do it because it might be too late then, I guess. My grandmother really knows how to ruin the atmosphere. We're in the middle of dinner and she's like, when's your wedding? And I'm like, when's your funeral? <laughs> it just feels, it feels good. It feels like, like somebody, under, somebody hears your point of view. I just think I'm good at something and so I just want to push it as far as you can. I guess doing the shows and people laugh and it just like feels like you can do something, you, you're good at something, you're, you know, you, she can make, bring joy and laughter to people, so, you know, you can serve a purpose. <laughs> if I like you, if I just like